And I've settled systems quite like Neon. Crazy, terrible, but never dull Neon. Keep moving. The scanners won't hurt you. Keep it moving. Looking to get zoned? Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. Benjamin goddamn Bayou is worse than the Crimson Fleet. I'm not even joking. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Fine. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Love the confidence, but before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks, and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdyne and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. Ryujin Cloud doesn't mean shit at Jennerdyne. So you're gonna have to deal with Komiko and potentially her boyfriend, Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Watch your step. Benjamin Bayou has eyes everywhere. Get out of my face. You want to go get something? Take it to the Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Good. If you were, you'd be the twelfth person I've turned away this year. What a waste. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you. 
But I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. <laughs> You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look. Uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. I don't have time for this. I think you may be right. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes. I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? We're done talking about that. Sorry. You want to do some digging? You do it on your own. It was great speaking with you. If you'll excuse me, I have a deadline to meet. You, uh, doing the... thing? Hell, I got no idea how hackers speak. What? I'm working here. If this shift doesn't end soon... Beats getting if you're in planning the on using lounge. Aurora, we respectfully ask you. To, we have plenty to choose. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I, I suppose that would be okay. Sorry about all of the threats. How about I set you up with free access to our members' lounge to make up for everything? Ayumi should already be there. Just... try not to make her angry. Enjoy your drinks. Yeah. What do you want? Uh... 
You must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. If you get caught in Genardine, that's on you. Good luck. If you wish to relax with some Aurora, I have... Hello there. I'll be happy to... Can I get you anything? Excellent. We have... We also off... Certainly. Please, let me know if you'd like any Aurora. Micah knows how to make a drink. <clears throat> I'd be making a fortune if let us fish. a strange feeling. I was meaning to check it. You know, everyone does their best work with security literally riding you. Get away, hear me? Oh.
hopeless. I'm getting to safety. I'm out. Oh, it's you. Uh, I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Yeah, that would be nice. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Thanks again for the talk. It really helped. Ah, there you are. Now look what kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne's systems. All too well. You know... I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. And I'm a businessman. Which means I know when to walk away from a deal. You want to know why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Brayson. Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard.
You're in the vanguard, right? Look in the mirror and wish you could see. And affordable, and with the crime rating bullshit. Any physical ailment. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be nice to be so naive. Well, I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. Well, that's just great. I'm in debt laying low from Bayou and his brute squad, and now you're shutting me out? Delgado sure knows how to pick him. You know what? When you get back to the key, why don't you tell Delgado that I've had enough of his bullshit? I'm through. Pour me a velocity, Domi. I think we're in luck. Estelle, you found the buyer. And in less than a week, I'm in plan. There's just one teeny little catch, though. Whenever there's a catch with you, it ends up costing me. Get back here! You're making things harder for yourself! Neon security! Stop immediately! All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! 